This is part four in our series of lectures on section 2.3. In this lecture, we're going to write down and prove a simple but useful result, which we'll make use of in the following two lectures. So here's the result that we're going to prove. It says that for every positive real number epsilon, there exists a natural number n such that 1 over n is smaller than epsilon. So the, I, the interesting case here is when epsilon is very, very close to zero. Obviously, if epsilon were more than one, then it's a triviality. You could just simply take n to be one. So the interesting case is when n is really tiny, you know, something like 0 0.000001. So the theorem is saying no matter how tiny that epsilon is, you can always find a rational number, a positive rational number, of the form 1 over some natural number that's even smaller than that epsilon. Okay, so how do you think you might prove that? Why don't you put your video on pause and see if you can come up with the proof? Uh, the idea of the proof is that um, there are arbitrarily large natural numbers. Given any number, no matter how big, you can always find a natural number bigger than that. So see if you can make use of that fact in order to prove this theorem. Put your video on pause and give it a try. Well, the idea of the proof is to, instead of looking at epsilon, you should look at the number 1 over epsilon, because proving that 1 over n is smaller than epsilon is the same as proving that n is bigger than 1 over epsilon. So, Starting, as usual, from the beginning, because we're, we're, it says for every positive real number epsilon, so you should start by saying let epsilon be a given positive real number because it's universally quantified. And now there exists a natural number such that something happens, so I have to tell you how to choose my natural number n. And so I just simply say choose n to be any natural number that's bigger than 1 over epsilon. Then cross-multiplying gives 1 over n smaller than epsilon. That's the desired result. And that completes the proof.